happy Thanksgiving to you all. Let's talk about some Phoenix Suns basketball. Let's talk about Nasir Little today. My giving back and getting back with this video. And talk about Nasir Little, what he's done in his new opportunity with Yuta Watanabe injured, coming in and playing some big minutes, 20 minutes, 22 minutes, and 27 minutes in his previous three outings. And yeah, he's taken great advantage of that new opportunity, averaging 11 points per game in those three so far. And we're going to take a look at what Nasir Little has done offensively and defensively to potentially prove himself as a playoff rotation player. So we'll take a look at exactly what he's doing to get to that level. And uh, I just wanted to mention that the reason that content has been a little bit slow is because I'm having a lot of issues with rec recording Suns games. Right now, I'm just going to be using the NBA Advanced Stats feature of just pulling all possessions from a player, just looking at every shot they made, every assist they made, every rebound, every steal, and every block, and just recording that because I'm having a lot of issues with recording Suns games, and that slowed down my content, and I'm also on the road, so the video is going to be a little bit whack, but let's just get into it. It's a long enough intro. Let's take a look at Nasir Little's jump shot to start it off because it's one of the most important things when you talk about a player player's success in the playoffs can they knock down the three especially playing with such great players such as you know Kevin Durant Devin Booker and Bradley Beal you got to be able to knock down those shots in the catch and shoot and right here uh, we're going back to a game against the Spurs to take a look at his shot right there getting a little handoff knocks it down it's a pretty good looking jump shot and when you talk about you know his previous uh stats in his career he had a 36 percent from three season last season with the portland trailblazers but is only shooting 30 percent on his 2.3 attempts per game to start off the year but we are only 10 games in knocking down a nice one from the corner and his first bucket in this game against utah he gets this little inbounds pass kelly olnix in the paint and i think it's a two three zone setup and sir little just knocks it down takes the wide open one and it's good to see him shooting with that type of confidence Hopefully he can get up his numbers during the season, but let's take a look at what Nasir Little has been doing just amazingly in these three games. And first of all, it is just attacking relentlessly in transition. Right here, he's got a two on three with Keontae George and Jordan Clarkson, some smaller guards in his way. And he just says, I mean, I know that Jordan Clarkson's got to res respect this pass to Eric Gordon. So he goes right up, right in the face of Jordan Clarkson, not exactly a great rim protector and is just going to take this bucket. I mean, he just dunks down. Jordan Clarkson basically just got out of the way, and it's these big energy plays from Nasir Little that just looks so great on paper when you talk about a backup forward for the Suns right here in transition. Just takes his advantage, sprinting down the floor, beat his defender down the court, and yeah, as you can see, Suns got numbers right here, basically, with four coming down against three. This guy didn't sprint back. I think that's CHG. Jordan Clarkson picks up the ball, and it's a wide open pass to Nasir Little. I mean, if people are not going to be sprinting back, he's going to take buckets like those. And, I mean, Taylor Horton Tucker, not exactly. I don't believe he's a very fast player compared to the rest of the league. And on top of that, he did not sprint way, all the way through. Nasir Little takes advantage with the wide open layup. Great pass. Just making the easy read right there. And Sir Little knocking it down from the corner. I mean, these are the type of threes that you want to see Sir Little make because they're going to be open all the time. Late shot clock, a little bit of contest on that. That's not a wide open one. And he just takes advantage of it. And on these KD double teams where Sexton's tagging in the paint against KBD, I mean, hitting these types of threes are huge because these threes are going to be there all the time. These types of, these would be marked as an open three based on the location of Colin Sexton. And yeah, if he can knock those down, I mean, that is going to be big first chances to succeed in the playoffs and is really helping the Suns in the presence, dealing with injuries to Yuta Watanabe and now uh, Drew Eubanks on top of already missing uh, Bradley Beal. And in these three games, he shot 40% from three against the Jazz, 33% against the Blazers, didn't make one against the Warriors. Continuing on, just again, just attacking now here. Uh, I believe that was an offensive rebound. It came up a little bit quickly right there. But uh, no, again, in transition, just sprinting back. Just like this ability to, I'm not exactly sure what, <laughs> what happened over here that uh, resulted in this transition possession. Because once again, I just pulled this off of NBA Advanced Stats as it, you know, labeled up here in the corner. But Matisse Leibel is worried about Josh Akogi. Shaden Sharp is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Maybe he's trying to 
watch the guy behind, but that doesn't make sense. That should be what Kamara's doing. Anyways, they just completely miscommunicate this. And Siri Little is wide open in the paint. Tybal's not there to take the pass away, and he's going to take the layup over some pretty good shot blockers in Tybal and DeAndre Ayton right here. Good attacking by Josh Kogi. Creates that pass to Kevin Durant and kicks it out to Nasir Little. And Nasir Little is going to knock it down from three, the one he did make during this game against the Blazers. I mean, those shots are going to be open all the time when you talk about the advantage creation that the Suns have. And yeah, I mean, this attacking closeout situation, pulling in the defense, there's two in the paint. This is going to happen all the time when you have Booker, Beal, and Durant on the court. So making these pass to assist type plays like KD makes right here. I mean, KD could have easily taken that shot. But Nasir Little is even more open and Little knocks it down. A nice little extra pass from KD trusting his guy in Nasir Little. And right here is maybe the most interesting thing when we talk about Nasir Little's chances with uh, the Suns and play playing in the playoff rotation. Offensively, this is his most interesting skill, which is his attack to the basket, attacking closeouts. Right there, just freezes a uh, Jabari Walker with a little jab step, goes right to the rim against Skylar Mays. Skylar Mays is not enough for rim protector. Dwap Reef is out of position, and Mr. Little is going to just attack. Right here, he just goes downhill off of a little... Um, sorry, sorry. Let's take a look at both of those possessions again. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um... Right here, again, just attack the closeout, freeze Jabari Walker, going into the paint, do operate this out there against KD, and what are you supposed to do right now? Like, there's no stopping Nasir Little going to the rim, and just these downhill situations where he uses his athleticism and length, I believe he's a 7-2 wingspan on a 6-5 frame, he is able to get downhill and score, and to just, you know, take advantage of these, uh, smaller dudes, not as great rim protectors sitting in the paint, and right here with yeah, just getting around the screen, a little handoff from Chimizi Metu going downhill and just puts his body into Tybal. Bar Barry Walker is not in position to block that shot. And it's just easy for Nasir Little right there. A little nice pass to Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon gives it right back as the Warriors don't pick him up. I believe it's Zarya starts sitting in the paints, so he's not going to be the most active defender. Clay Thompson is out in the middle of nowhere, not getting back into the play. Probably thought that Eric Gordon was just going to take that shot. But yeah, he seizes the pump fake and gives it right back to Nasir Little. Nasir Little has also done a little bit of a nice job as a passer, which we'll take a look at in just a little bit after these scoring highlights. But again, just these attacking closeout situations. Moses Moody attacks way too hard on the closeout. And um, Nasir Little goes right on him, driving center. Uh... <laughs> Nurkic does a little bit of a seal, a little bit of a duck in right there, but <laughs> little sills to go right through Dario Saric, and it does not matter. He does not feel him. Little just goes straight through and gets the bucket over Dario Saric. I just love possessions like these because this is the exact type of thing you need to be able to do to be on the court with these three stars that the Suns have. Just taking advantage of these players, trying to close out and use the advantages that your stars give you and, you know, produce with those advantages. Eric Gordon and Grayson Allen have already done a great job with that. But Nasir Little, who can take you to a little bit of a different mode defensively also doing this is a great you know thing to see kbd is also showing signs of this but i am struggling with the kbd film a little bit um <laughs> maybe we'll i'll drop a video about him in a little bit but yeah kbd's also been doing similar things but nasir little in particular in these previous three games has been very good at attacking those closeouts it's been a joy to see him do that right here again in transition just putting his hand, head down no one really picks him up right there and just goes straight through the defense of the warriors i mean this is just great just pushing it down the floor off of the board and yeah the thing the sees just kind of open up he goes straight through them attacking being confident with his handle that is a great sign to see out of this year little who's going to be your three slash four despite being like six five six six uh espn's got him listed at six six but i believe he's a little bit closer to six five um he's you know being able to attack like that with a big body he is at 220 pounds once again i'm a little bit questionable if that is accurate he looks a little bit uh stronger and a little bit heavier than that but he's you know he's attacking using the size and right here 
uh, again, pushing in transition, sees Chris Paul in front of him. Why doesn't he just take it, you know? And I believe on the highlight, I don't have the highlight right here. Chris Paul actually got his hands on the ball, got a little strip on the ball, and Siri Little just stays under control and finishes the layup anyways through Chris Paul, who is one of the best at stopping these types of plays in transition. Uh, and Siri Little, no fear, goes right through Chris Paul. Says he's too little, because he is and Chris Paul gets ejected just a bit later, later in the game. A little bit of a controversial one right here in a senior little, making a good pass inside to Drew Eubanks. It's a little pass to assist type play that you have to be able to make if you're on the Phoenix Suns using the advantage that Booker created right here and the Warriors never getting really back into position, miscommunicating the switch, Trace Jackson Davis and Jonathan Kaminga, just miscommunicating, giving Drew Eubanks a push shot and it's an easy one for Drew Banks right here. I mean, it's another pass, just like the easy pass to Grayson Allen. He's going to take the screen and a shot clock and just knocks it down. That's such a cool shot to see. Just Grayson Allen saying, oh, yeah, I can shoot it. It doesn't matter if KD or D book doesn't have their ball, the, the ball in their hands, late shot clock. Someone else can hit a big shot at the end of the shot clock, too. And that's me. And yeah, that's a cool shot to see out of him. Grayson Allen knocking it down from three and a good pass from Mr. Little. Again, attacking that closeout this time. Uh, the defense kind of sucked in right there with uh, Andrew Wiggins dropping into the paint. A little bit off balance, makes the pass outside to Josh Kogi, who also attacks the closeout and gets the bucket that time. If Andrew Wiggins doesn't step up and Josh Kogi hits a you know, not exactly his best shot, but he knocks it down. It was a really nice looking shot. I mean, he was really on balance. Of course, he was going to knock it down in that case. Uh, the video is kind of struggling right now. We're going to give it a little bit to uh, recover right here and just take another look at this play. He just attacks the closeout. Andrew Wiggins sucked in just that half step and then has to close out on Josh Akogi. Josh Akogi attacks and gets the bucket. Right here, let's take a look at some of Nasir Little's defense, which has also been very good. Blocking shots like that one right there. No one's really there to help him out with the rebounding, so uh, the Jazz end up getting the bucket. But just a nice play as a shot blocker, just going one-on-one -on -one against, you know, a guy like Laurie Markkinen, who's, you know, six inches taller than him and still getting the block and almost getting the stop and transition in this kind of three-on-three -three situation. Needed his teammates to rebound right there, but... Yeah, Nasir Little's just got this little talent of blocking shots. And when you're talking about a guy who's going to be out there playing three and four next to, you know, maybe a pretty good shot blocker like Drew Eubanks or a guy like Yusuf Nurkic, who's also stepped it up really well defensively in these last three games. I mean, that's a pretty good sign if you can have this like secondary or third rim protector on the court. If you're talking about having him out there with KBD or with Kevin Durant, two guys who can also block shots. I mean... That's just a lot of shot blocking talents. Devin Booker out there as well. Just all these guys who are very good rim protectors or can come up with these splash play blocks or, you know, do good things on transition defense, just like we saw right here. I mean, that's just a really encouraging sign for your defense. Having all these defensive playmakers out there on the court can create all sorts of advantages for your team. And continuing on. Uh, yeah, as we can see, the Jazz ended up getting the bucket, but I just love to see those types of blocks from a guy like Kate or from a guy like Nasir Little right here a little bit later in this, this second quarter gets a little bit of a block on Jordan Clarkson just stays in front slides his feet and Jordan Clarkson just tries to go right through him ends up being accredited as a block just doing a great job of moving his feet staying in front. It's a block and the Jazz never really got it back together this possession and yeah, continuing on, Mr. Little again playing some good defense right there, swats the shot against Jordan Clarkson, nasty swat. His ability to swat shots on the ball is really cool because, I mean, the Suns don't really have a lot of players on their roster who are, I mean, actually, they have a few players on the roster who can really do that. I'd take that back. Jordan Goodwin, Josh Akogi. Kevin Durant and sometimes Devin Booker likes to do that and of course their shot blockers Nurkic and Eubanks always have the chance to do that if they're against smalls or bigs and you add in another guy like Nasir Little who can make these types of splash defensive plays I mean it's just a really cool thing to see he's not 
he's not a weakness out there. I mean, it's another possession against Jordan Clarkson, another one where Jordan Clarkson just tries to attack him, and there's nothing you can really do. Jordan Clarkson's at, what, like a 29-point-per-game scorer this season? He is one of the, you know, upper-end guards in the league right now. Of course, you're going to be playing all sorts of different guards when you get to the playoffs, and you're probably not going to be seeing Jordan Clarkson there this season. But... Yeah, I mean, all of them have their unique strengths and weaknesses. And Mr. Little has, you know, this big frame, long wingspan, and ability to block shots, you know, one on one. I mean, that's just a really nice combination of defensive skills that could be very useful for a Suns team that's missing Torrey Craig after you let him go in the offseason. So maybe he ends up filling into that Torrey Craig role off of the bench as that you know that guy who's going to be assigned to bigger guards like Luka Doncic and maybe Shea Gilgis Alexander when he's on the floor right here another block from Nasir Little now acting as a secondary rim protector instead going instead of going on the ball like we saw in the first three blocks right here blocking Duop Reef a really good vertical contest from Grayson Allen and Shemizi Metu to just push Duop Reef just that little bit back set up the Nasir Little block just the secondary rim protection is really nice when you can put him on the court with other shot blockers like Eubanks, like Met or like Metu, like Yusuf Nurkic. And just having a guy who can go out there and block a shot like that is very, very useful and can create all sorts of defensive problems for teams. That and one ended up going off of Duop Reef and was a Suns. I went right back to the Suns. Right here, he's just gonna steal the ball off of the poor pass from Shaden Sharp. Just having the quick hands, having the recognition to do that is very helpful. And uh, right here, we're just going to start taking a look at Nasir Little's rebounding. I mean, his rebounding has been great. I mean, there's a reason we've got uh, two and a half more minutes of highlights right here, because he's been doing a great job as a rebounder, using his athleticism. And right here, just fighting for it and ends up being a jump ball. And I don't exactly know why he's credited with the rebound right there, but yeah, just fighting for it, gets the jump ball. And right here ends up being a steal and uh, he gets fouled before he can attack and transition. I mean, he's going crazy in transition against the Warriors. So of course they would foul him right there. And now we're looking at rebounding just, oh my God, what a, what a hustle rebound right there by Nasir Little. Just using his length, using his arms, getting all the ways up there, a little tap up by Nurkic and then sliding on the floor to recover, doesn't travel and gets it right back to his son's teammate right there, right here. Uh, a big defensive rebound on the way um <laughs> actually that wasn't that big sorry i misremembered that one a little bit uh right here um kd giving up to nasir little fakes the pass on the three he misses it but gets his rebound right back using those long arms grabbing it over the top and hitting it back out to kd for the three and an assist for nasir little right there almost a block really great contest on the ball against jabari walker and yeah just using that length to collect rebounds as it's really great especially when you're forcing defenders to miss shots on the front of the rim right that like that he's always got to be ready to get grab those boards and a lot of players are gonna be missing short when you've got nasir little closing out on you right here nasir little kicking it out to eric Gordon. great pass right there and once again just fighting for the rebound against deon drayton getting it back and setting up a nice possession for the suns and again continuing Nasir Little just using his size, his lengths, reaching up there and grabbing the board. Almost was a bit of a mistake right there from Nurkic and him. Maybe he could have gone out of bounds, but Nasir, Nasir Little does a great job of grabbing the ball. Right there, KD gets blocked. Uh, <laughs> Little grabs it. It was almost fouled right there. Could have saved that shot clock, uh, but ends up expiring. But a nice board from Nasir Little, an offensive one. And right there, just using his size, making sure that Pajemski doesn't grab it. Just using that length, using, you know, every tool he has to just keep the defender off of getting it or the offensive player to get it. And right there, just taking it away from Trace Jackson Davis. I mean, just using the tools he's got to get the rebounds. I mean, it's great to see right there. Just a little replay of the Pajemski one because the video is glitching a little bit. I don't know why it's glitching. I, it's just happening. And again, just taking it away. <laughs> don't let him have that and push it down the court and yeah, i believe that led into one of the transition buckets that we saw right here just fighting on the rebound fighting on the glass box now i believe that's Guy santos a little bit and yeah just making sure 
or that his team his team's getting the ball actually it was Trace Jackson Davis again just taking it away from the rookie I mean this is a fifth year in a Sear Little like this is big and he's getting boards right here a tough offensive board tapping it out to Eric Gordon keeping the possession alive and when you got KD on the court that's a great thing to do you know if you're you're rebounding offensively and defensively that's huge for a team like the suns who've got so many offensive weapons just creating more possessions for the team that one's just a little quick one just grabbing it making sure the defense doesn't take it and yeah i mean rebounding's huge shooting is huge uh, if he's attacking closeout has been great to see and he's making the right passes and Steer Little is checking all the boxes to be a playoff rotation player and hopefully he steps it up when we get to that time but just taking a look at his stats on the season he's averaging six points two rebounds per game and in these previous three games he's dropped 10 13 and 10 with um five boards in two of these games he's got five total assists and three total steals four total blocks across these three most recent games hopefully that three-point shooting stroke gets back to where it was last season or maybe even a little bit better with the quality of shots that the suns are giving him and yeah i'm looking forward to see more in a year little he's a great energy player and i've enjoyed seeing him play this season for the suns and yeah I think that about covers it. I'm thankful for Nasir Little and for the Phoenix Suns and thankful for you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you haven't subscribed already, maybe scroll down and hit that button. That'd be pretty cool. And maybe hit that like button if you already subscribed. That'd be also very cool. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.